Hi everyone, we are playing Geist, and uh, this is a Connections off-campus apartment build. And we're up against Spark Agency, piloted by Sedge, and I think this is a mulligan. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of money, we don't have that much action. Sadly, it's okay, we have our link and we have some drip, so that's, that's not too bad. Um, but we're probably going to start with four credits if that... Uh, Spark Agency is playing uh, the best it can right now. It's very likely. So we'll see what happens. Boop. S install. Install. Let's draw. Okay. We've got our drip, and uh, we are playing normal breakers. Uh, so to fit the normal breakers into this deck um, and keep. Uh, most of what we wanted, we're actually playing two peddler and two off-campus apartment, which makes it harder to play uh, off-campus apartment early. It might have been more appropriate to cut three uh, down to one of the peddlers, but uh, we're trying something out, trying some new stuff out. There's a Crescentus in the stack that probably should be cut, but um, sort of a remnants of an old siphon deck. I, I don't like the siphon versions, but um, they're they're good versions. Um, it's just not my style. I always think like a shaper, even when I'm playing blue, so... Alright, so, uh... He did not get the value res on the Adonis, which is fine for us. Um, we'll gain two credits. Um, I think we just want to start drawing to get our stuff going. So, that's pretty good. Uh, let's try one more time to see if we can hit some action. Okay, eh. Sadly, we did not, but... We've got breakers. The drip is nice to counter the Adonis campaigns and the, um, I'm not exactly sure. We'll probably see some launch campaigns, some pad campaigns, and uh, the upgrade that is also an advertisement. A couple ice that are advertisements. These kinds of decks are fun to play, but Spark Agency makes games go long because uh, generally it keeps the, the runner super poor. But we will see what's going on here. We're probably going to check these. Um, no? Okay, we won't check that. That's for sure. Let's check server 4 this turn, I think. I can't imagine he would ha actually have just placed an agenda out there. That seems kind of weird. Um, in fact, let's not. Let's draw. Okay, breakers are better. Let's run R&D, see if we hit anything. <clears throat> Our multi-access is... Maker's Eye. Toll booth. Boo. Uh, let's... We have two clicks. Let's play the crowbar and the same old thing. Let's get our stuff set up. So, bit of a shame that we found some of our connections before we found our off-campus apartment. Uh, we did take a mulligan and uh, yeah not much we can do about that we just want to draw through our deck pretty fast and then uh, levy and then we'll just get mad value off all of our stuff so uh oh so we might be pushing here and I wouldn't blame him for doing this this seems pretty smart uh, probably going to see the toll booth here he has 11 credits we don't have a way to break that. Um, so let's draw. There's Corroder. Not going to go, I think. Um, we got to get him to res the toll booth, right? Yeah, I mean. Hmm. Don't want to face plant into an Enigma, though. Let's play that out. Let's run into server 5. <clears throat> So we can break uh, Architect if we see it. Um, doubt Architect is in the deck, but it could be. Probably a no res here and probably a res here. This is probably a toll booth. Uh, I generally like putting the toll booths on the inside. Yeah, okay. So it ends the run, which is good for us. Um, now we, well, not good for us, but we don't lose any credits. We are at two. So, um, we could pick, we take a poke at R&D. Let's 
kind of bad. We don't have any money except for our underworld contacts. We really do want to find some more money. Global food, that's good. All right, so on the board. This is probably an astro. They're al they always are, so. Let's see what he's doing here. I would imagine he'd score it if it was an astro. If it wasn't an astro, then uh, we'll probably see something like ice over R&D. Oh, okay, it is not. So it's probably a sand sand. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. One second. Sorry about that. Uh, I forgot I had Facebook open. All right, we'll start our turn. Let's get some money. Um, let's draw. Let's get this game going. Let's draw again. We have Cotty in this deck. I'm not 100% sold on that as a thing, but I do love playing Zoo. I think Zoo is just a perfect fit in this kind of deck because it's a cloud breaker. Um, it lets you have a bunch of other stuff on the table, like Crescentus if you need to. A pretty sick value. And it's just a great card. Like it just gets you in where you need to when you need to, usually. So um, it's a bit of a shame that we can't get through this toll booth right now. But we will try to do some pressure here on HQ and RD. Oh, it was an agenda. Oh, breaking news. Um, nah. I'm not going to bother. He can trash anything he wants. If he really wants to. Interesting. I wonder if this is some sort of like playing a single scorch or something like that. I mean, he can trash this tech trader if he wants the same old thing. None of those matter. Um, but Cotty Jones is going to be pretty safe here to go out after this. Um, not super safe, but decently safe. He's just thinking about whether he wants to trash something or install. And I think both are okay plays here. Probably trashing the Underworld Contacts is the better play. Um, the Tech Trader does give me mass value. Okay. Sure. Well. Hmm. Let's draw. Let's, get, let's keep going. Okay. That's pretty good here. Um, let's run R&D, see if we can get a res, yeah. <clears throat> Data Raven, hmm. Yeah, that's not good. We're going to jack out. Hmm. So, let's see. We can beat the trace. Interesting. So, this is a psycho deck. Um, I think we want to load up Cotty Jones. As much as I don't really think this is a good card in this deck, I, I have one of here. I'm, I'm on, I want to try uh, a deck with Cotty Jones, a single Cotty Jones, and no levy. So that at the end of the game, you're just like getting a bunch of Underworld Contacts money and Cotty Jones money, and you don't have any cards left in your deck, but you don't need them. So you'd have to play like a Plash Greet or maybe two in that version of the deck, but um, it could it could happen. It could work. Like you just the goal is to just get through your deck as fast as possible and set up. It's an idea. I don't know. So we have an install in server six. So Data Raven, hmm. server five. Okay, so he's banking on we don't have enough to get in there. Um. So, what do we do here? I'm going to gain some money. Could install a corroder and go for it. Um, do we think he's trying to score out here? Seven credits. Let's poke HQ and see if there's anything in there first. pop-up window. Bummer. Um, yeah. 
Do we want to get in there? Yeah, we'll, we'll continue. Enigma, okay. So we're letting this go then. So we could take from Cadi, it's not great value. We could take from Cadi, go to six, play that, going to four, run. If we hit another pop-up, we can still get through everything. So maybe we do that. Because I think this is an Astro. Let's try it and see what happens. That's pretty scary. Hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna break, drawing a card, and we're going to jack out because we can't get through that. Yeah, we're gonna jack out. <laughs> That's a shame. Yeah, so Crescentis is going to get some big value in this matchup because of the expensive ice. And uh, hopefully we just draw into some more money. We have three daily casts in the deck. Um, we haven't really been drawing as much as we should be. Hmm. Ice. So this probably not an agenda. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. That's pretty good. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to start with six credits this turn, which isn't too bad. This could be an advertisement bringing us to five, though. Um... I oof, this is tough. I think we're gonna let this go. It's probably not something we really want here. Um I think our plan here is to derez the data raven. Yeah, I do like that. That gets us some cards. Um, it gets us a card. Okay, let's go that route. Um, let's... Take the tag. Match. And we'll break, and we'll derez. Global food, toll booth, breaking news. Nice. Okay, so I think we're just going to gain a credit and drop the tag. <clears throat> cool. So that was uh, not terrible. Not terrible value from that. So he's leaving it open if he wants to score now. Um, but since we saw two agendas, it's going to be fresh cards on top when we run if he scores. So um, mid-season replacements. Wow. Um, I see.
Interesting. We could avoid one, and I think we're going to, just to not die. Now let's wait. Let's leave it. Let's see. Let's just leave them. We could do this. Gets us a card. Let's actually do this first. Okay, so we found another one. So that's actually kind of cool. So let's do this to remove a tag, drawing a card. Um, let's play this guy for Forger. Um, let's see. Let's remove a tag. Let's play this guy gaining some money and drawing a card, and then let's remove tag, remove tag. That was cool. <laughs> that was actually pretty pretty sweet. And now we have a, a legwork open. We have we can uh, legwork HQ next turn, um, and we're looking pretty good. Unless we see some NAPDs, we're uh, in a good spot. And if he actually just scores this, going to lower than... Um, Four credits. We know that we can make her eye with our same old. So we have a lot of options this this turn. Um, we'll see what he does. Looks like he's gonna draw with Jackson. I don't know about that. I'm looking for like a um, sweep sweep or something. So four credits. Interesting. Okay. So server six and server seven and ice. Okay, so we know this is an agenda. Is this the winning agenda? Because it could be. Um, and if it is, um, so this was a mistake. We had we were at zero credits, um, and I think he just should have waited until our turn started before he used this because we would have gained two, and then he could have rezzed it and put us at one. That would have been a slightly better play. Um, as it is, it's still okay, but. I was going to discard. So we're going to start turn, gain some money. Oh, no, we're not going to gain some money. I'm sorry, because we are out of our out of our forgers. Um, hmm. We have one more forger in the deck. Let's see what we can do. Let's draw. Store three. Hmm. It's a shame. Okay. Gain a credit, let's install. Okay. I guess technically we could uh, crowbar through this guy, but this is a score turn for sure. So yeah, I'm gonna go see a score here. Ooh, TGTBT, it is not the winning agenda. That's interesting. Okay, so this is, I think I know what deck this is. Um, I think this does play Scorch, <clears throat> which makes it pretty scary. We need to be careful about that. Uh, let's draw, let's Petals. Um, we want to store three. And we want to gain a credit. So we didn't run, so we can't can't see source us. Um, we really do need to be worried about the this, this scoring server. The scoring server is getting a bit out of control. And uh, yeah, that was an Astro. Oh, it's a Beal. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So I think we might actually just go through this with legwork simply to hit, because we probably will hit. We'll run archives. Let's run archives um, as well. So we have a bunch of things we want to do this turn. So let's run archives first off. Let's see what we get.
Okay, got rid of Jackson. That is good for us. See anything? Closed accounts. Bad, bad news bears. Okay, so we can take some money. Um, we can legwork here and break. I like that play, even though it's kind of it's kind of lame. Ah, let's not. Let's just pay one because we have four for um, NAPD. Howard, no. Enigma, no. Wraparound, no. Okay. And last, let's mm, let's hold on. Let's uh, draw. Okay. We should probably wait here because we can get in here if the corp goes for it and shows that there's an agenda or just put something there. Okay, maybe we can just go. So we have four credits. Three credits. <laughs> Bummer. Um, hmm. So do we want a daily cast here, or do we want to wait? Let's start the turn. All right, let's play out the tech trader. Let's gain a buck. Let's play this. Whoops. Let's toss out. Whoopsies. Let's see. Let's toss out this. And then this will give us a buck. Okay. So that's what we want. We want to run this. So server five. Whoa. Um, hmm. That's a shame. Um, okay. Thanks for getting into a much longer game than I expected. Trying to trash the corroder. Oh, double crowbar. Okay. Um, and we're going to use this now. Um, it's really tricky. Actually, let's wait and see what he does. If this is breaking news, we can use this to get our um, hand size up to four. Okay. No, just an APD. Maybe not even an APD. Hmm. Interesting. I think we're gonna pop daily cast this turn, or get our daily cast this turn. Gets us deeper in our deck. Um, definitely want to levy soon, ish. Oh, he already did it. Okay. So, that's weird. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's get some money. Hmm, shame. Let's... So what is that? He's looking for a super veal here. Draw. Let's 
try again. Okay. So this deck doesn't play any tech riders, so it doesn't have the burst of a tech rider, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, that usually helps these kinds of decks out, but I'm giving it a shot without it. So over advanced Buell. Yep, all right. Good game. So just a bit slow and no way to deal with Archer. Um, didn't hit our breakers in the right order, which is kind of the the game with Geist. He tends to do that. Anyway, we'll uh, give it another go. Different deck, I think. Um, go back to the no siphon without the underworld context uh, game because it's just not good. These cards are not good. All right, I'll take care, and we'll see you next time.